Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Um, sadly, this day is starting, this vlog is starting at like 5 p.m. So my bad, I really haven't had time to film at all today because like I said on Tuesday's vlog, Tuesdays and Thursdays are the days that I have class from 9.30 to about 5 p.m. So kind of takes up the majority of my day. I did get my nails done in between my first and second class today. If you guys wanna check it, check it out. I know my fingers are like absolutely disgusting because I had printmaking as my third class, so I don't even know why I bother to get a light colored nail polish. I always forget that I'm in art classes and then I get into printmaking and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna scrub like all of this off. We use all these chemicals and stuff and so it just kinda like wears it down really easily and then the ink that I use just kinda like gets stuck permanently to my nails sometimes so these probably aren't unfortunately gonna last and I didn't realize it until today so I'm kind of dumb they're already like dirty a little bit so I need to remember to wear gloves next time besides that um, I had my debate in my second class today that I was writing finishing the paper for the other day so I had that and um, <laughs> I kind of contemplated filming just during it like how funny would that be just to bring my vlogging camera up with me while I was like giving my argument in this debate and just be like, don't mind me guys, I'm just vlogging this, you know, it's vlogmas, I gotta, you know, bring them along with me. People would think I'm so freaking weird. I got my last project back from printmaking, which you guys saw in yesterday's vlog. I showed you the copper and how I was like trying to explain like what a final print would kind of look like. But if you guys are interested, I will just show you a couple of my prints in here. Hi, honey. Oliver's coming in. He knew I was gonna show his prints about him, so he just had to join the vlog, didn't you? For this project, we had to do half of them as the dry point that I showed you in that copper yesterday. And then the other half had to be line etch, which was a little bit of a different technique and a lot more time intensive. We had to like soak it in acid and everything. And like I said, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me um, this weekend either tomorrow or this weekend showing you guys how I actually go through the process of doing a print because it's a lot that goes into it and like soaking in acid and all this toxic stuff so it's super fun but uh, I'll show you guys what some of these look like you guys love to see the artwork which I think is super fun and nice I guess I'll show you the one that I did with the copper plate that I showed you first Okay, so here is an example of one of the prints that I did with that copper plate that I showed you. So I'm not gonna get into too much of like how I did it since I'll show you guys hopefully this weekend. But that's what that looks like and I had to do like, I don't even know how many I had to do these. Oh, I had to do six of these and then I had to do six of the line etches, which this is what I kind of did. I wanted it to look more abstract and a little bit more like a painting so it's kind of a different look than the realistic style it's still my dog um, it's a different picture that I took of him and it's just his face if you want to make some zoodle noodles well you can make your steak and then I can make my zoodles okay the boyfriend interrupted my spiel but anyway this is just like the abstract dog and then the other one is realistic so these were two different techniques but I actually kind of like how they're both like really different and turned out kind of cool even though I usually don't do I don't really do this style very often like if ever I'm more like anal about my like drawings and I like it to be realistic looking or else I hate it oh there's a child behind me are we cuddling? So anyway, I guess I'm going to go take Oliver outside and then we're gonna go over to Becker's apartment and then cook some dinner, but he doesn't want what I want. So I'm gonna make some zoodles, which are amazing by the way. If you guys haven't had zoodles yet, you should do it. If you guys don't know what it is, it's zucchini noodles. So instead of using pasta noodles, then you just like use a spiralizer and make zucchini noodles so it's a little bit healthier obviously for you because you're eating vegetables but they are like in the shape of regular noodles so it's super yummy and good so I bought a bunch of zucchini and squash to do that and then I think I'm just gonna season it with some like light lemon seasoning and like oil you guys have also been asking I saw in the comments about if Becker and I live near each other and he actually lives in the same apartment complex as I do he just lives one floor above me so it's really convenient. I just have to walk up the stairs and then he's like right there. It's great. Don't even have to go outside in the cold except to take you out. 
you're warming me up. I don't even need a turtleneck. You love to eat my hair, don't you? This is expensive. Food time. Watch out, folks. You're creepy. It's been requested to show more of you, so hey. Oh, hey. Caught me off guard. What are you cooking? Chipotle steak burrito bowl. Chipotle steak burrito bowl? Yeah, an imitation. I am instead not having steak, and I'm going to make some zoodles. I brought over some cilantro, some grape tomatoes, seasoning, a lot of zucchini, and squash. Oh shit, I forgot the spiralizer at my place. I'm gonna have to go grab that. Some quinoa, some garlic, and avocado, a dressing, and then I also brought some gluten-free noodles in case I want to mix this with the zoodles, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. But I need to go get my spiralizer because I forgot, so be right back. Da -da -da. Yum, yum, yum. Dinner is served. Mm, dinner was so good. And I got some leftovers for tomorrow for lunch. So I'm excited about that. And now we are going to be making some perfectly pumpkin premium cookies. They're not just any kind of pumpkin, they're perfectly pumpkin. Perfectly pumpkin. This is kind of out of date, sir. Now it's the winter, you gotta get the winter cookies. The ones that you can cut the dough from like the roll. <gasps> Those are so good! So I am just gonna finish cleaning up and then I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog. <laughs> He's laughing at me. And then post that, because I already posted Two videos today, technically? <laughs> right, Carlin? Yeah, totally. Dude. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, guys, sorry for the change of outfit. I'm actually filming this on the day after just because I uploaded really late again last night. It is time for the part of the video where I answer your questions from the previous vlog. So let's get started. Tori wants to know if I have fake nails or if they're real. They are fake. They are the gel powder and then I have shellac over top of that just so that the nail polish doesn't come off very easily at all. Carly wants to know what shampoo and conditioner I use. I actually really like the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle shampoo. It just feels really clarifying and cleansing. I know it sounds weird that it's Trader Joe's, but it's really inexpensive and it just, it's really like cooling. So if you like that, like, mint gum feeling that you get like that cool sensation really refreshing then you should try this out because it's actually really good and then for the um conditioner i just use the macadamia oil brand conditioner like the deep conditioner and then for a normal conditioner i just use the i think it's biolage or something like that and it's for the extra hydrating like damaged hair and i also have shampoo of that too so i just kind of like to switch it up i also use the life proof brand um, anti-humidity when it's in the hotter months so i kind of like to switch it up i don't like to use the same thing all the time just because i don't want my hair to get used to only one product chelsea wants to know if i have extensions and yes i do i have a in hair extensions. Caitlin wants to know if I'm ever going to post another Manic Monday video and her name is spelled the same way so shout out to you Caitlin because you spell your name right. I actually get this question a lot and yes I am going to continue doing Manic Mondays very soon if you guys are new to my channel. I did this series last year with my boyfriend Becker and he just kind of had his own like series on my channel Manic Monday because he's a man and we did challenge videos and then he did advice videos kind of stuff like that more directed towards girls girls like guy advice for girls and other stuff but yes we really want to continue doing them we just need some more topics to do I don't want to do the same thing all the time that other people do so if you guys have any some like fun original ideas or ones that you haven't seen that much of and you want us to do then please let us know because we would love to do that and finally Frawls wants to know what season I am on Mad Men I'm actually on season oh I just finished season five didn't I yeah it was a season finale last night so I am now on season six I only think there's a couple seasons left, so now I'm really depressed on like what I'm gonna do when this ends. And they also wanna know if I love or hate Dawn. That's a great question because 
my boyfriend loves him and he like justifies his actions by his messed up past and I'm over here sitting like what the fuck like I'm, I'm pissed at him a lot of the time this past season he's been good but I know he's gonna be bad again I know it he pisses me off but I also love him at the same time like I really love him and then I hate him sometimes so it's very conflicting okay so those are all the questions I'm going to answer in tonight's vlog thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you come back tomorrow as always leave me some questions below that you really want me to answer I'll do my best to answer that in tomorrow's vlog but I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys soon bye